Yo, what's up, what's up, you two? How you doing? This is your boy, crew at Smalls, 4K Tech. And on this episode, we got to be talking about the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I really want to give you my thoughts and my honest opinion on this device and why you should go out and pick this up in 2020. And even though the iPhone 12 launched came out a couple of days ago, I could want to do a review on this device and my personal thoughts on having this device and what this device could do that no other device cannot do and stuff. So I got to give you my honest opinion and my honest thought on the iPhone uh, 11. Let me see, can I get my face into the picture? Okay, so. I log onto my device and you can see clearly I am one of the uh, Miami Dolphins thing that I created on this device for y'all guys. So tell me, do y'all like this uh, theme setup of the Miami Dolphins or what? So I could have to add more widgets and stuff on there. So nothing but Miami Dolphins represent Miami. Okay, so, <laughs> and so, so let's get started with uh, what I think about the iPhone 11 Pro Max and why you should go out and pick this up. Cause now the price is gonna drop for this device. Well, I mean, it won't be a bit drop. It gotta be around a thousand dollars, and so or around 900 because the new one is coming out. So it won't make sense if the iPhone 12 and the 11 be the same price and you want to get the latest one over the 11 so um i feel like that once you get this device you're not missing out on anything now is the try is a bit upgrade over 11 yes and liberty is a bit great over 11 pro max because of two things one is the new camera experience for photography and two, that a new process is definitely gonna always be the next process. That do not mean that this process is not fastest. So this could a faster process, but even though the uh, iPhone 12 came out on launch, the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12 will launch next week for the very first time. But the Pro and the Pro Max won't come out to November, sometime November. So for now, I could give you a full review on this device. What I think about this device, and should you go out and see of getting this device. So let's get what I think about this device. I'm not a tech or a spec person, so I'm not gonna tell you no specs. It's just a average consumer like I am. So only I could tell you what I experience with this device and only I could say if this is a midnight green uh, touch but sometimes you feel like when you turn it on the side it turn like a little gray like matte gray or something like tempered blue and depending on what you angle at so yes this is a nice cutter I was hoping they bring this cutter uh, back to the 12 but I think God that uh, they bring the blue cutter in to replace the midnight green. And so, so you can see that the green represent the Miami Dolphins. And so, so why not match it up with uh, the green? Now, camera, let's talk about the camera on this device and what I think about the camera on here. So I think the camera could take one of the best pictures and video out there or any uh, spectrum on this device because the way how this phone takes good pictures, um, it can do a lot just with the camera. And sometimes it's good to download third party camera apps for you to like start taking pictures. So let's go into camera real fast. You know, I always have to do the camera first before I do anything. So let's take a picture of this. And we gotta go two times. Watch your why. And let's look. 
camel party is good. Uh, what I love about this, good details, good out there. So you know how to really do nothing. It depends how you take the picture. You take the picture real well, you can get a really good results on here. And, and like, it depends on the lighting. So like, say that I want to take another picture of this. And one that I love is that with this one, you could adjust the uh, mode while right here. So that's a neutral. But say that I want to get it something like normalcy. So let's take this normal picture. Let's do two times. Let's do three times again. And you can see a bit different from this version where I took from this right here so now you're able to see a bit difference with this one but you see how the light is not balanced up and now you can see everything is so balanced and that's a feature that i really like about the uh, iphone because now they decide to bring it in i know samsung have it on their phones lg have it on their phone motor order like this is the motor order phone that i do the right here and have it on their phone but I really think that when you shoot a video or camera experiments on here, all thing I have to do is just pop into the camera video mode right here. If I can see what is going on, and I see that out. Let me do that again. Camera video. So now you enter the video mode right here and say that I want to just film in 4K60, I like it, film in 4K60. The camera experiments on here is very smooth. So you can see how smooth this is. Another thing is, before you do that, you could go, uh, you see, I know you could do it on here, and then you gotta swipe up, and you could adjust the bonus on here as well. You wanna get that uh, nice uh, video so this is just a video test to show you uh, what I have. I had on our iPhone in the market, our iPhone and stuff. So you can see our iPhone that I had and on. That's a sense and stuff. Every phone that you see right here. So here my picture right there. Can't without the picture. So uh jbl speaker note 20 right here this is the note 20 archer right here but yeah okay so look at the video quality of this device inside so you can see how well the video catch on here so good so clean and now that i like is you can turn this up sound quality is accident on here. Another feature that I really love about this is I could go right here and do airdrop on this device. So all I have to do is hit this and once I pair this with my uh, iPhone and lock this on and stuff and hit this right here. Now I got to pair this video to here and, and with instant sin mining fast and you can see how it working just beautiful and now the video got pop up right here and you can see that in instant that another feature that I love about um about this because I could send files straight from my, um this device to this one so say that I want to send these pictures that I took uh Phones. Get one, two, six, three. So right here, same picture, and you can see how instant, like you see how instant this broke right here, and it amazed me that this would instant pop up right now, and it's crazy because. Now, Android is doing the same thing what Apple is doing. And that is a really good thing that uh, 
you know you can do that uh, with Apple and allow you getting that uh, really good Apple experience with this device and I feel like that 2020 will be another step for Apple because Apple coming with the 12, the 12 mini, the 12 Pro, the 12 Pro Max and like they coming with a whole bunch of good device then AirPod mini, uh, I can't wait, HomePod mini I mean, I cannot wait to see what Apple could do with that device, I can't wait to own it cause that device is a hundred dollars and I definitely gotta like spend a hundred dollars on a home par. Uh, I gotta buy at least five. One gotta be in this side, right? And one, two, so I have to spend five hundred dollars for each one. You know, it might take time. I gotta spend that amount of money for the home par because I don't mind. And now with the betas, now with this device, the front camera is really good as well too. So let me show you the front camera. Um, the cam front camera feature is very well as well too. So, so, so let me take a good picture. And let me do a portrait one. Let me do one with the lighting. So portrait take picture is really good. Like I didn't know you able to do wide angle on him. So let me see can I able to do wide angle? Cause I never did wide angle on him. So um, I don't think I'm not for sure that if you lose the main one, I'm not for sure. But I know in the past you were able to lose wide angle. And you can lose the flash. Okay guys, so I just took some pictures just to show you what um what each mode do. And I just love the black level on here like this focus really well and just the details of my face is this is really good. This is a really excited phone and you wanna take a really solid good picture. This one I don't like this one by mess up. But you see, I like this one better. And when you try to pair this, and I'm not gonna say this is appropriate, but uh, in pens. And so, so I hope the iPhone 12 could do a little bit better, like what they do on here. So I just want to give you my first and my only review on this device. Um, and so, but. Another thing, before I go, I have to let you know, like with the sound quality, uh, if you go to Apple News it, right here, the sound quality got an excellent sound. And so, so like, I look at Lee Cray real fast. Let me see Lee Cray. Lee Cray, and you know, I'll play his latest news set. This is just something to let you know how good the sound quality is. Listen. Tell me that you never let me down. Down. Cause you're my final 
This is loud. You hear the bass? This got a nice bass in here, man. Like, like my sensor and this and my other phones that I have, it got a really nice bass on here. So, I just want to lead off and give you my personal review on this device. And then, I got to give you another review on the iPhone 11 Pro. That will become in a different video. One come into this video and got to be a phone a pattern the iPhone 11 Pro Max version style 11 and that got cut in different video so stay tuned on that video and I will see you out peace oh yeah and please subscribe on my channel and give it a like or a dislike Turn out to you